How y'all doing? Ralph here. So you're getting out of active duty. I'm here to tell you about some things you may or may not experience when you do get out of active duty. A lot of you will most likely be trying to find a full-time job. And your resumes are already out there. First month, you don't hear anything. Second month, you don't hear anything. Third month, and maybe even longer. Especially when you're trying to find a job that's related to your career field that you did in the military. Best thing to do at that point is just grab a job that's readily available so you have some kind of sustainment. Another thing is you can network. Prime example is a buddy of mine, he did 20 years in the Navy, retired as a Navy chief, and just took the first job that was available to him, which was a custodian job. So he shows up to work, cleans bathrooms, cleans sinks, cleans the building, but he was friendly with everyone. He made friends with everyone in the building. Everybody liked him. Everybody talked to him. So, sometime down the road, somebody asked him, hey, you wanna work for us? And so he gets hired on as a defense contractor. A few years later, he's working for the federal government making pretty good money. So don't ever down those jobs that you can get right away, even if you feel like it's a low level position. I was always taught that if it's honest work, there's nothing to be ashamed about. So don't down those jobs. It may lead to something. For some of you with the resumes out there, you might hear from some of these companies right away. So dealing with the interviews, learn about the company, uh, dress well, be cordial to the receptionist, to the interviewer, everybody around you. Be upbeat about your skill set when you're speaking to the interviewer. One thing. I tell folks is when they ask you about your biggest weakness, tell them the truth. I've had an interview where they asked me what was my biggest weakness and I said my writing. But I'm planning to go to night school and improve on that. And guess what? They hired me. I was just truthful. I never said I'm a perfectionist and this is why it's my weakness or I'm always trying to do this and that and you know how they say turn your weakness into a positive to me just be truthful in my opinion I think the interviewer would rather see that than you trying to make up a story about yourself uh, maybe it's true but when they hear a lot of those turning your negative into positive answers they get kind of jaded after a while. Just my opinion. I see a lot of young guys too. I have no weaknesses. Uh, you better find something. And just be truthful about it. And how you're going to improve on it. Now. For the folks that are going to the Guard or Reserves after active duty. You may deal with some of these guys. That will ask you during your interview. About. How long are you going to deploy for? How long are you going to be gone for? Do you have a schedule of when you're going to leave and when you're coming back? Now, they're not supposed to ask you those questions. But for those folks, 
Put it in the back of your head. Why is this guy asking me all these questions not about my skill set? Ask yourself, do I really want to work? Do I really want to work for this company that's asking me these questions? More worried about me being away than me being a valuable asset to his company or to their company. So some of the things you may experience being a guard or reservist during job interviews. You finally get hired. Now here are some of the things that you you may have to adjust to. Your rank does not follow you to your civilian job. You have to let that all go. There are times where you have to start from the bottom and work your way up again. There is going to be a few times where you look to your right, look to your left. The reason why that person is there is because mom or dad works for that company. Or you can get a guy that has barely any experience compared to yours and you're getting paid the same. It's just some things you have to deal with. There's times too where companies say, yeah, we support our veterans, our guard and reservists. And then once you get hired, you find out that they really don't. So really do pay attention during the interview when you're trying to find a job. You really want to work for a company that actually does support the veterans and doesn't look down on deployments for Guard or Reservists because there are companies out there that will do that. But on the other side, there are a lot of companies that really do support the veterans, the Guard, and the Reservists. If you're a guard or reservist and you do find that the company you're working for really supports your military time, put them in for an award. Sign your supervision up and your company up and that's it. That's all you have to do. For one, it'll build a good relationship between you and your supervision. And secondly, it'll look good on that company for really supporting the veterans. Best thing you can do before you get out of active duty is prepare yourself. Start networking. A lot of military jobs, some of you may be working side by side with a civilian. If you want to stay there or somewhere around that area, ask them questions. For some of you that want to go back home, start contacting your friends, your family. That way when you go home, you have a head start. Not going to say it's easy transitioning from active duty to civilian life. Some of you may get lucky and find a job right away some of you may not and it can be a struggle but don't look down on those jobs that you think are beneath you because you never know what those can lead to and another thing is at least you're getting paid right may not be as much but it's something to help sustain you until you find that job that's related to the career field that you did in the military. Just personal experience, it took me six months to finally find a job that was related to my military career. And being a reservist, I did go through those interviews with people asking me those questions. Another thing, I took a 
driving job for Avis and Budget. It was an easy job. It was fun. All I had to do was drive cars, work 20 hours, and I had insurance. So 20 hours a week, and I got health insurance from it, working at night while doing interviews during the day. So, again, just here to try and help you out of the things you may go through and some of you may not. But those guys who may struggle, don't quit. Don't give up. Keep trying. And everything will work out. Hopefully this helps you out. Y'all take care. Stay safe. God bless. Subscribe, comment down below, hit that like button. Now. Yeah.